What if I told you that there's a place you need to know about? It's kind of a dark place, a place where newsletters get lost. And it's called the, the Gmail, Gmail Promotions, Promotions tab. tab. In this video, we're going to tell you what you can do to keep your newsletter out of the dreaded Promotions tab. Stay until the end and we'll also reveal how you can get more subscribers to your newsletter with five simple tips. Hello everyone, my name is Daniela and I'm a content creator here at one.com. We've helped millions of customers start and host their own website, online shop and professional email. With our website builder, you can easily create a website in minutes and use MailChimp to effectively reach your customers. Well, I mean, MailChimp isn't just a way of reaching your customers, it's practically a requirement. Why? Well, when you send your newsletter, many of your subscribers will have their email accounts with Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or other major email providers. These platforms do everything they can to protect their users from spam. If your newsletter is marked as spam, it can quickly become invisible to most subscribers. Some things can cause your newsletter to be marked as spam automatically, such as if you send an email to a thousand recipients from your regular email account. Providers like MailChimp work to ensure the newsletters sent from them never get caught in any spam filter. We're not saying this because we partner with MailChimp. There are many newsletter services, but you must use a service to send your newsletter. So, with the right tools, you can avoid spam filters. That said, there's still one big problem, promotions. Promotions is the name of a feature in Gmail that you should always try to outsmart. Not everyone uses it, but since Gmail has a market share of over 30% in many countries and over 50% in some, it really matters how Gmail displays or hides your newsletter. Promotions try to identify emails that contain ads to keep the primary inbox clean from clutter. Emails that end up in the Promotions tab risk dying a lonely death. The result could be that your newsletter gets an open rate of 20 instead of 30%, which can lower your sales and make your email marketing ineffective. Results can vary, but Gmail significantly affects your newsletter's performance. So how can you avoid the Promotions tab and make sure your newsletter lands in the primary inbox? Google doesn't disclose what causes an email to end up in primary or promotions. This may make the Promotions tab seem like black magic, but it's simple. We'll tell you five tips you can try to land in primary. The first tip is to never use your newsletter for sales. You might think a good newsletter is filled with great offers. That's wrong. Marketing emails almost always end up in the Promotions tab, and they're honestly uninteresting to most people. You should see each newsletter as an opportunity to offer unique and high quality content, content that is interesting to your recipients. Sales should be a secondary objective. To succeed, your subscribers need to look forward to your email and be interested in reading it. Read this with a genuine interest, open your newsletter more often, which sends a clear signal to Gmail that your newsletter belongs in the primary inbox and not the promotions one. This leads to more opens, which boosts the positive loop. We have more tips coming up, but you're probably thinking, hey, how nice of you to tell me that I just need to create an interesting newsletter, as if that's super easy. We hear you, we'll talk more about how to avoid the promotions tab soon. But first, three tips for creating an interesting newsletter. Number one, decide on a topic for your newsletter and stick to it. Let's say you work as a consultant, helping your customers with search engine optimization. You can create a newsletter where you write about your best tips for search engine optimization. As a consultant, you can often give away a lot of your knowledge for free. You can offer unique insights to your customers and simultaneously show how knowledgeable you are. Your valuable content can be your marketing. When you share your knowledge, you build trust. Number two, give your newsletter a name. A name makes it easy for your readers to share and talk about you. Imagine someone saying, you should subscribe to the Search Engine Wednesday newsletter. That's much easier to remember than John Smith's newsletter. Number three, write unique content that isn't too labor intensive. Can you write a short text with interesting graphs illustrating the latest search trends? This can provide great value for your readers without wasting too much of your time. What do you want your newsletter to be about? Leave a comment down below and we can try to brainstorm ideas together. Now let's get back on topic. How to avoid the Promotions tab. My second tip is super simple. When you get a new subscriber, send a welcome email, introducing them to your newsletter and your brand. This might be a bit controversial, but also ask your customers to move your newsletter to the primary inbox. When a user moves an email to primary, it shows Gmail how your newsletter should be sorted. 
Even if only 1% of your subscribers move your newsletter to primary, it serves as a strong signal to Gmail. Our next tip is the opposite of what many other newsletters do. So listen closely. You've probably seen emails sent from an address called no reply. The email often explicitly tells you not to respond. That's silly. Encourage your readers to reply. See replies as a way for your subscribers to engage with your newsletter. Write a question in your newsletter and encourage replies. When your readers reply to your newsletter, it shows Gmail that your email is interesting. Tip number four is to create a schedule for your newsletter and inform your readers about it. That way, your subscribers can look forward to your newsletter, increasing your open rate and keeping your newsletter in the primary inbox. Your schedule can be one email per day, one per week or one per month. Always send it at the same time to make your schedule more effective. It's time for tip number five, but stay tuned as we'll soon reveal the best ways to get new subscribers to your newsletter. Our tip number five for the promotion staff is to make your newsletter personal and to avoid it being too sales oriented. Always use the recipient's name in the email and try to personalize it with more personal information if you can. Don't ruin the personal feel by including too many sales links. One is often enough. Also, consider how you write and avoid words like free, discount, campaign, and similar. Simply write your email with a focus on the reader and the content, not on selling. Now you know how to create a good newsletter, but how do you get subscribers? Here are five great and super quick tips. Tip number one, advertise the newsletter on your website. Tip number two, link the newsletter on your social media profile. Tip number three, organize contests for subscribers. Tip number four, offer exclusive content on your website that is only available to newsletter subscribers. Tip number five, collaborate with other newsletters and promote each other. Now you know how to get new subscribers, but remember that it's not always positive to just have a bunch of people signed up. Try to find readers who are genuinely interested in your content. This makes it cheaper to send your newsletter and increases your open rate, which improves the likelihood of avoiding the dreaded promotions tab. Now it's time for you to create a great newsletter. Feel free to leave a comment if you want feedback on your idea and we'll try to help you out. If you're unsure of who you want to write a newsletter for, it might be smart to start with a market survey. Check out this video up here to learn more about that. If you want more videos about newsletters and email marketing, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next video.